<laughs> to be perfectly honest with you, I hated that part of the job. I was blind, I was deaf, and um, it was a ridiculously cumbersome uh, piece of equipment. I, I really couldn't manipulate it very well at all. That's why I'm so happy with this puppet. It's a hand puppet. It's, it's more along the lines of, of what I traditionally do. Find your mother. This is Squish. Squish is a baby cluster lizard. This is a, a plunger that opens and closes his jaw. It's not... It's very hard to... Uh, it's actually very hard to do. He's not very flexible. But luckily, we only use him for quick shots. So he works... He works for that. I can't even make him talk. He doesn't have to talk. He just makes sounds. <laughs> His fathers and mothers, they are really ugly. You've seen them, haven't you? The big one? The big class Elizabeth, but this one is so sweet. That was nice little scene you guys did together there, too. Oh, but, yeah. Yeah. How do you, were we talking cluster lizard? We were going... If you put two relatively small countries compared to the U.S., Germany and Canada together in terms of market size, we can do bigger and better productions in combination. We have a larger talent base and more resources. But also, I think there's an interesting historical connection in the German involvement, which is that we're shooting part of this in Babelsberg, which is uh, where movies such as Nosferatu and Metropolis and the Marlene Dietrich films are made. And I think that they like the idea of science fiction being made there and interesting cutting-edge science fiction because it was once made there and it worked so why not try it again Action. you must kill me i'm possessed by his shadow the fantasy genre is not very popular in germany it is popular whenever it comes from america then mass audiences walk into the movie theaters but they uh, also behave strangely in the film business if uh, german film directors try to shoot movies like this and this is strange because we have a very big tradition in germany in the silent era and uh, i'm convinced that it has something to do with the uh, uh, Third Reich and the Nazis expelling and killing off all the creative forces. And uh, it still shows in German cinema, in modern German cinema, the big loss of uh, big artists and uh, big loss of uh, black Jewish humor, for instance. And um, we have to fight for, for making our films better and more interesting to the audiences. Hello, herzlich willkommen to Movie Television. My name is Thomas Mulock and I'm working for Core Digital Pictures in Babelsberg. We're standing here at a very historical place. That's where Winston Churchill was located during the Potsdam Conference. This house was originally built as a summer residence for four people and later it was a hotel in the time of East Germany. And we have beautiful paintings here on the wall. Those are the original paintings and maybe Winston Churchill sat here for a meeting. And now we sit here, our core members sit here and have the creative meetings. But have, look at the outside of the building here. Most people mention the Berlin Wall was located in the middle of Berlin, but in fact it runs hundreds of kilometers through Germany. And it runs from that side of the river, right behind the villa, this was where the wall was located up to that point and there is a little piece remaining there. Now, working with the German animators has been amazing. They, they're really enthusiastic. I think it's because it's a, a fairly young industry here in Germany. Computer graphics hasn't really 
gone high end in a big way here yet. Uh, it's just starting to happen, and people are really excited about working in this in this industry, especially when you're dealing with effects. Uh, I'm a fan from Star Wars. Uh, everyone, Star Trek and uh, Mr. Spock. <laughs> This doesn't work. This is going to look so cheesy and bad. Oh, don't even think of it. This is like really on the cusp, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you sort of come in here and go, this isn't working right now. I'm going to look like an idiot by the time this, where they're finished with me. Man, I, I've been, I've had my union card for 10 years and I just don't worry about that anymore. <laughs> I don't worry about it at all. <laughs> look at me. Do I look worried? No. Work is work. Yeah, and it's good. I mean, you've got to try things, and you don't know. I mean, you, you know, if somebody's got it all fixed and it's all prescribed and whatever, then, you know, I could have been a lawyer. You have to trust Paul, and Paul is a very talented guy, and, and, I, and I trust him that he'll, he's not going to, you know, he's not going to let us down. I'm waiting for something to happen. It's a whole different way of making television. I mean, it's quite exhausting, and uh, to be able to do it in the long run, we'll have to um, fine-tune our systems, but uh, it has a lot of challenge. Sarah, action. 